What's good? It's your boy Young Bubba Detox. I'm in here with my boy Steve Rocks at Quantum B Studio. It's DME TV interview. Way too much flex, not enough hustle. Things are working out. I got it off the muscle. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle. But now they looking cause they never. So what's good, boy? What's going on, bro? What's going on, man? Yeah, man. I can finally sit down with DME TV, man. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I'm watching you. Okay. I've been listening to your shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the meta album, it's tight, bro. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate it. What it, what it take to put it together? Who are you work with? Everything like that. Well, it took it really took me a, a minute, man. It took me about a year mm -hmm. to pretty much finish finish it how I wanted, you know what I mean, sonically, just just listening to it. But it was overall an, an experience and an experiment. Right. Like uh, you know, like I was just telling you off camera before, like it was just um it was just an experience. It's an experiment, you know, with, with me being a, a new producer, you know what I mean, getting my feet wet in the production game, and, mm -hmm. and you know, um, I'm back rapping, and, and I'm rapping and singing and writing over this, over my own beat, so it was an, an experiment, man, it was, it was dope, I worked with um, Beats by Louie, okay. um, for the intro track and a couple other tracks that I produced, he uh, co-produced as well, and High Rise, and, um, shout out High Rise, George Sean, huh? yeah, and, um, and, um, who else? Oh, my production team, the Nukes Music, out of Charlotte, out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, I got them on the project. You know, they um, they helped me construct the last project that I did down to earth. And you know what I mean, I, I I didn't feel like the project would be complete without having them on this one. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it takes teamwork. Yeah. Um, what do you prefer, rapping or singing, or or, <laughs> or what do you think the people prefer? What What do you get the best reaction out of when you do either or? I, I really, I really think they, I really think they like both. I really think they like people who do both. You know what I mean? Who can give them the best of that, that, that both worlds, and and still, and 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 be a little street with it too. Okay. And I think I, I just think people are getting into the to the age where they just like people to be direct, and that's where rappers, and I mean singers, they they're direct too. But you know, rappers are pretty much you know straightforward, right. you know, bar for bar. But and and that's really where. You know what I mean? They they pretty much blurring lines and they loving it. <laughs> True. So, yeah, I think they like both though. I think they like both. Yeah. I like I like singing more, but okay. I like rapping like too. Singing. I like rapping too. I just like rapping. You know what I mean? I like rapping. I'm but, with the dogs. So. But why do you like singing more? Do you think you're better at it, or do you think it's just more passion? You can get a a bigger fan base, or what? Wide variety of content. Like, well, uh. I can sing something. I can just sing anything, and somebody will like it. Right. <laughs> you can sing whatever, like you mm -hmm. know. What I mean? People just like hearing people holding notes, right? Like, elongated, some for some odd reason, because Young Thug don't say a damn thing. Right. <laughs> you, just, you know what I mean? It's the vibe that exactly. he brings to the exactly. song. Okay. So yeah. And um, what, you, what, what was the other question you asked? What was the other question? Are you you asking me the bet the uh, which um, do I get a better feeling out of singing? Yeah, I do. Like singing is just. The emotion, like I get to display emotion, and you know that's uh, I, I think that's rare in music. Right. Um, but now you got some rappers who are doing it now. You know, exactly. Uh, shout out to YFN Lou T. He, he display a lot of emotion. Uh, I say Young Thug display a lot of emotion. Mm -hmm. I say, I say Rich Homie he displayed a lot of emotion. But rappers are displaying a lot of emotion with elongated notes now. So right. it's becoming more accepted in, in like areas that. It wasn't norm. It wasn't normal. Man. So, all right. So, so good now. if you had to pick a genre for yourself, now you know, hip hop is not just boom bap no more. It's not just about the lyrics. You know, now it's it's different now. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so is R and B. It's so many sub genres. Right, and, right, right, right. You know, like like most rappers or rappers nowadays, they rock stars. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, or, right, right. or vice versa. So, how do you feel like if, if you had to put yourself in a genre? What, what would your genre? Be? What's in the duffel? Way too much flex, not enough hustle. Things are working out. I got it off the muscle. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle. But now they looking, cause they never know what's in the duffel.